501c3 tax exempt nonprofit um, here based in Port Arthur, but we have sister location here in Houston and they're allowing us to uh, use their Zoom link to come in and handle this business right here. So yeah. mm -hmm. we're flexing it uh, to try to help entrepreneurs get to the next level. You can use our Zoom line if you want to, you know, with appropriation and schedule your Zoom call and, you know, We'll do what we can to help you succeed in your business, you know, virtually. So Beautiful. speaking about that post-pandemic economy. So uh, let me know if you can see the screen there. We can see it. Okay. So this Lease 366 we created, as you can see a little example of the QR code, this is where not everything is going, but it's getting there. Where we talking about the newer generation smartphones will be able to compat be compatible with this type of uh, QR code and scan it and going about your business. So an example of the future. But since you've already seen this, Miss Ashley, I'll let Louise see this. So just let me know if if I if you can't hear the volume, shout at me. But I think we should be good. So my free book came in. One secret nugget led to $2,000 in 30 days. Get your free copy today. Boys, stop, stop. Every day I'm at the bay making deposits. Counting the money. So our client money. wanted to know, how did we get them $2,000 in less than 30 days? Well, it's right here. Oh, oh. Boys, stop, stop. Every day I'm at the bay making deposits. So what that is referring to those two promos is why digital marketing. We're talking about the pandemic business data points. 39% of social media users polled said that they were spending more time on social media. So thus 70% of marketers have moved their face-to-face -face interaction partially or fully to virtual platform. And many don't see that as a short-term fix like what we're doing right now. Now, content marketing, what you just saw, generates three times as many leads as outbound marketing and costs 62% less, which basically means that before the pandemic, email marketing there was at the bottom of the barrel in how you got to your clients. Because of the pandemic, email marketing has now jumped up to 66% where websites at 63% and social media marketing at 52% are the top three tactics that brands are using right now to uh, basically stay in front of their clients' faces with a system that looks like this. Not as elaborate, but it's the gist of it, basically in what I showed you in the, uh, the, the promo prior to, where we're gonna get to a more simplified version of this but even as we talk right now on this, this is being recorded and this screen is gonna end up being in one of these type of systems. Marketing collateral or data. We take your media, be it a PDF, infographic, video, audio for a podcast, video for a podcast, it doesn't matter. We put it in front of your prospects and customers face to help them learn about the challenges that you can help them solve for themselves. And then in real estate, we know one of the big things in real estate is having a solid lead, but not just necessarily having a solid lead. Like you mentioned earlier, Ashley, that the, the, the inconsistency of money. Um, well, in this system where we can take marketing, your marketing collateral, we can start to create a consistent pipeline of revenue that is gonna be predictable based on how many people you put your marketing collateral in front of on various platforms. So the method to the system is save yourself time, energy, and money. Save yourself time, energy, and money, which are marketing collateral, splitting it down to different networks into one main source, your main source, say it's a funnel, your landing page or website, taking your collateral, putting marketing collateral, putting it on 
Facebook, IG, LinkedIn, whatever social media platform you're using, but you're using that collateral to guide them from those platforms, Facebook's mansion, IG's mansion, LinkedIn's mansion, to your digital real estate, your landing page, your website, or what have you, and, and take the party from there, if you will. So I've got a question. Anybody, I don't know, I might be showing my age here. Anybody know who this is right here on the screen? The man from Men's Warehouse. I don't know his name. It is. Al Zimmerman, former chairman of Men's Warehouse. Used to love <laughs> the commercials and the marketing tactics that they used, where he always said, I'm not only a client, I'm the president. You're going to like the way you look, I'll guarantee it. But that's the same I say. That's me, Chris L. Thomas, President, Chief Tech Officer of Biz Leads 366, two-time award-winning filmmaker, member of Grammy Association, Texas Chapter, and board member of Texas nonprofit, DBA JCO. And I'm also a client of Biz Leads 366. It all started in 2012 of learning this algorithm because I was dealing with artists that was at the height of their careers, but at the same time, at the dwindling of their careers, because these three videos have generated over a million views by itself without any promotion. So I wanted to figure out how I could be more effective for the independent artists because I was able to work with Yolanda Adams and just Britney, I'm mean, not just Britney, uh, Kim Burrell after they had their label deals. So what we're doing with Biz Lead 6 6 is taking the experience that we've crafted over the 17 year period from entertainment, dealing with music uh, uh, and film and combining it into where the world is going now, which is this digital wave to where you take your marketing collateral and place it and plaster it everywhere, just like the labels do, but for a fraction of cost. This experience in that led me to taking the company that's a film company and positioning myself with different movies that actually won awards due to the work that I was able to do with them via the movie trailers and in various other positions that's obviously available on IMDb where you could check to see, you know, we are, we are all about receipts and results over here. The R&R &R we talk about is receipts and results. So here I am, award-winning starving artist. I'm broke and I'm homeless. So, Ms. Ashley, I know what you're talking about very well. Yes, sir. <laughs> so when I bring it together for myself, I'm trying to figure out how did I get here? I've won a couple of awards. I'm the Grammy nominated director. How, like, what is this? And as you can see there, the date, April 12, 2021, we'll talk more about that. Marketing collateral. It led me to Biz Leads 366, creating a system showing freelancers and, and, and creatives a clever way of how to take their social media page, specifically Facebook, and turn it into a lead generating machine in all of the picture posts where that you could link a, a bit.ly link to and it take you to your digital real estate to make the offer or what have you. So this is what started it all. That led me to over the years understand what these guys were doing because all of these guys I have some type of credit with, be it video, be it uh, creating the, the uh, digital marketing, the content in various ways with these particular multi-billion dollar companies and institutions and multi-million dollar companies. So, but there was a gap and this gap that exists, it, it exists with the small business people, with the big corporation people system. The big corporations have a system in place. The small business owner, the entrepreneur, the consultant, the freelance creative doesn't really have a system, let alone know how to run a business per se, because none of us were taught in public school, very little in college if you attended, how to run a business only if you were in the business program of some sort, but they didn't teach you how to run a business, taught you how to be an employee. Thus, the, the system concept we're not familiar with, 
but we understand the need for it, which brings me back to this. That's the system where you can see there at the top left, Monday through Thursday, one week, there's different pages that are gonna go to the people who actually are in your email list, who's seen the headline, clicked on it, and subscribed by an email, phone number, what have you, then your thank you page. And then on Thursday, you actually do the live webinar. But in between the time to Thursday, if you see at the bottom, there are indoctrination pages to get them on the follow-up to say, hey, look, don't forget about the webinar. Think about this fact. And it could be a 30 second clip. It could be a one minute clip, whatever, but you stay on their mind. And then you go into your actual presentation with the plan and giving them the secret sauce. Friday and Saturday, your replays. So you could repitch. On Sunday, you hit them with the email sequences. And remember, email marketing has went up, increased 66%. Websites, 63%. Social media marketing, 52%. That tops the list of the tactics that we could use. Now, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. We're focusing on consultants and creatives because that's where I know how to use it better for my skill set. Because again, that picture I showed you earlier, the press release, that's coming from a PR campaign. So it's not just about generating leads for our clients. It's also about maintaining the marketing collateral through an online platform, through email sequencing, with a CRM, customer relation management system, which you should, you guys should know about now because you've been receiving emails from it <laughs> up until now. The paid ads campaigns throughout all the social media, your Google, your YouTube, not just the social medias, your pre PR press campaigns to where we send it out, we can have it sent out through our affiliate through up to at least 500 different distribution channels. And of course, those are different packages that's not really included here. That's more of a bonus feature when you're ready for that. But we have access to it, as well as matching a brand product service with an influencer that's trending. This AI proprietary source is what we are connecting into to be able to pull that off. And again, I'm also a client. So, with an actual step down, we're looking at Google ads, your content banner, an opt-in page for come see Ashley and Louise real estate, wholesale. You looking to buy a house or sell a house? Boom, there goes an opt-in form. Email sequences start to kick in for the next five days. An intake form that we that I know that wholesale agent uh, uh, wholesalers need to you know vet the house to be able to you know sell the contract you can put a form in between you and the actual buyer or seller in your case it would be you would need two of these pages one for buyers and one for sellers with two different intake forms to receive two different types of information to have a meet a scheduled meeting to move forward to see if the property is even worth it so then of course your confirmation pages the landing page website funnel whatever it is you choose to do existing or creating it from scratch is what our method is funnelitic mapping this is what you're looking at right now in a simplified board version that we actually are putting into uh that is in campaign right now for a client consultant actually a business writing a grant writing consultant email sequencing, relevant online ad campaigns, because some people don't run the relevant, they just run SEO. Example is, if I say keyword to target bicycle, that doesn't work, that's too generic. But if I say black mongoose with spokes, you see now it gets more detailed, but at that point, you're targeting a specific audience only to them, which makes your ad click per cost go way down than what the average SEO people are doing. See, Facebook changed their privacy situation because of Apple changing theirs. And now I'll notice Facebook is changing their name to Meta to go into the metaverse. 
all we're really talking about is data and how they're going to use your marketing collateral in said metaverse. So we take all data points from all platforms that we market on and those that buy, great. Those that don't, we have their information, we simply retarget. So some people ask, how much does this cost when you're running the ads? But here's the example in the method. The top video was for a client, $75, ad budget, seven days, 600 views. That was roughly uh, eight, $9 a day for brand awareness. The second one, video, brand awareness, $350 over four days, and that was 4,632 views. Then the bottom one was a Blue Barrel Creamery commercial spec, which we didn't put money behind. We just did key rate, uh, key, keyword phrase, uh, and it's ongoing, and we just stopped on the um, key phrase, uh, keyword searchability at 749 views for this specific video. This one is the biggest example of, I guess, debauchery, because we really had a thing going and then copyright issues halted us. But you can see there that it's the same video, but due to copyright, we had to do two different visuals, one at 45,000 views, the other at 44,000 views. But you see the difference in a few days we had it staggered, but when we stopped, this is where we stopped that. So it doesn't take much financially to get the, the budgets going, but you do have to have a certain amount in order for it to be beneficial for you. So a few of our clients, I don't know if anybody can see anybody that might be familiar on there, but um, one of our, uh, I guess you could say more prominent clients is uh, Mr. Dave Anderson when it comes to being uh, notable. I uh, just found out that he was in the Forbes magazine and in him, a person of his caliber and exposure to be able to trust us at an early startup phase was really you know, uh, monumental for us and being able to produce that content for the takeover of that company. So. 17 years of experience in 15 minutes. Is that right? Did I do that? See, in 15 minutes? Oh, nobody was timing. Pretty good. No, yeah. nobody timed it, but you did it. Why well, I wasn't expecting you to be done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, 17. Oh, <laughs> your presentation. That's lit. I'm going to have to take that one. <laughs> Respect. But <laughs> I just want to make sure that is if it's okay that I can make you an offer real quick so I can show you how all of it really works together, specifically how we can make that happen for you guys on the real estate side or any, any consulting other business that you have. This really doesn't have to be just for a consultant or a creative. This works in any industry because just about every industry has some type of online presence to a degree. So on the website, <clears throat> we have the lead gen intro at 3587, the lead gen sales growth at 6549, and the lead gen sale empire at 11,579. But with the 20% off, it opens up six options. Well, on each one of those three plans, you can choose to get take the 20% off discount to pay one time in full or make it affordable where if it's the three month plan, it's 997. If it's the six month plan, it's 947. And for the 12 month plan, it's 750 33 a month. But wait, there's more because you might want to start with this now. This is one thing that I know about real estate. When you're getting into real estate, the best time to buy is at the end of the year, not just for the depreciation acceleration but also for, this is not financial or tax advice, but also for the, the houses and the competition in price goes down during this time of year because most people are looking to sell for whatever purpose they're trying to sell for. And more times than not, at the end of the year, you're gonna get someone that's gonna have a, a be, be willing to, to bite on the deal 
that's going to be more profitable for you because they they're, they're in the uh i urgent phase that they have to sell so the same is such for digital marketing ad space so if you move make a move to get these things moving before thanksgiving the marketing costs at this time of year increase during this time but if you get in before thanksgiving then we can get a jump in and at least get some stuff uh some positions with uh certain uh platforms like google and youtube to get in position in line if you will to get those ads rolling because sometimes it takes about a day or two so them for them to start rolling because of all the algorithm and other ads that are got in before you so for this plan which is not on the site this is just for you guys here on a three month plan, 20% down will be $566 down before Thanksgiving. And then we just do $755 a month for three months. If you do the six months, it'll be $1,055 down with that $4,215 remaining and $702 a month for six months. And then the 12 months, $1,891 down, $7,562 is the balance with $631 a month for 12 months. And again, all of this is tailor-made and tailor-fitted. There's no, oh, you got, you're going to get a landing page, you're going to get a website, you're going to get a funnel. It doesn't work like that per se. It's more so what are you trying to do? What results are we, you know, after we do an assessment of how we can map your, your, your marketing collateral with the funnel, lytic mapping, the email sequencing, and then we can figure out, okay, it's going to be better to go towards this platform for you that platform for you and so on when it comes to putting your plan together and actually going through with the the uh the promotion the campaign and all of this is <clears throat> i would love to say it's a money back guarantee it's not really a money back guarantee because it's service based so once we do a thing and pay for something that money is gone but you can cancel it at any time so when you cancel it at any time, whatever, if you don't feel like it's working, then if you in, you know, the second month, then, you know, you still cancel because the things that we were going to do for that third month is not in play to, you know, be uh, performing at that point. So you cancel whenever you want, if you don't feel like it's working and what have you, but we typically suggest our clients get the six months because when you do the three month, the three month, you're not going to see results from three months in totality until the fourth or fifth month. It with six months, you would have your data points for, from three point, I mean from the previous three months. And now you can retarget and make the ad, I mean, those data points more uh, effective for your ad campaigning for the next three months as we move to the ninth month and the twelfth month. So the sixth month is usually the little sweet spot right there. But again, we just wanted to find a way to make it affordable as possible without just trying to take money from the client and not really pre performing on results. Because if you do this right, you have a predictable pli a pipeline of revenue coming in within a week, really. It just depends on how you move these methods and that plan right there. So that's the presentation and the demo. If there's any questions, I am here ready and willing to answer. Boy, stop, boy, stop. Every day I'm at the bank making deposits.